The Ministry of Health says it continues to actively respond to the outbreak of the Zika virus in the region. To date, 21 countries have been affected by the virus, including some neighboring territories. However, the ministry assures Grenadians that the country remains free from the virus. Appearing on GBN's Beyond the Headlines last evening, Chief Environmental Officer Andre Worm says the ministry is beefing up its resources to help ensure that the virus does not reach our shores. We're focusing on, on a more integrated approach to, to, to control. We are looking to educate the population um, also significantly. We are working towards building partnerships in terms of public and private sector partnerships. President of the St. George's University and infectious disease specialist Dr. Richard Alls says the Zika virus is just the beginning of many more diseases to come. Dr. Alls says the virus is similar to the chikungunya but has a very dangerous added effect, that which affects unborn babies. The real danger with Zika is that there is an association between getting the Zika virus and in pregnant women, and the virus can be transmitted to the unborn child, and particularly early in the pregnancy can be devastating to the unborn child. So the real concern for Zika is the impact that it'll have on a very important but relatively small segment of the population, pregnant women. Responding to some speculations that the virus can be sexually transmitted, he had this to say. Well, I don't know that that would be how I would think of that. In some senses, uh, the Zika virus is for most healthy adults, and for that matter, probably healthy children. It's a, it's a disease that makes people sick, but it is a relatively limited disease. A person with Zika virus in the beginning looks like they have uh, some flu of some time. They have a fever. A couple of the characteristic findings is they can have uh, uh, reddened eyes. Uh, that is characteristic early on. And then they can have the same sort of joint complaints, uh, perhaps to a lesser extent than chikungunya. And they often have a rash. Uh, but it tends to be a self-limited illness, meaning that people get over it in a while and then they're fine. The Ministry of Health advises that in keeping with the guidelines from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, Women who are pregnant should take every possible measure to protect themselves from being bitten by the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which carries the Zika virus. It also advises that women who are planning to get pregnant should seek information from the healthcare providers on the risk associated with the virus and pregnancy outcomes before doing so. Delroy Lozon, GBN News.